Oh, it's gonna be so spotty. Oh my god. Hopefully I'm doing this even. Jesus. Ah. I'm dreading this video. Today's video is going to be taken to a level that I don't know that I'm ready for it yet. Oh. Oh. I'm so scared. Hi, beautiful. Up first, we have a video by Twin L. I'm hoping after today, I have somewhat of a glow up. I asked Arthur what kind of hairstyle he sees me with. He immediately went to jellyfish. And so then I went to Instagram and I asked you guys what kind of haircut you see me with. Someone said jellyfish, but I still wasn't fully convinced. Also, I got some new shears or scissors. Oh, okay. Whoa, baby. We're starting off good today. We are about to get fed. She is going to, I think, do a jellyfish cut, which if you don't know what that is, strap yourselves the fuck in and get ready to see the magic. She has the perfect face for a jellyfish cut. In that same breath, I don't understand how she's gonna do this to herself. It is a very artsy haircut and it is hard to pull off and it is hard to do yourself. And did I mention it's hard to do yourself because it is very hard to do yourself. So let's see how she does while doing it herself. So I was gonna use these, but they're so crappy. I swear, I don't even think they cut paper. I'm sorry, you were gonna use what? You were gonna use those arts and crafts, supplies, scissors? I think not. I think we're gonna put those down and not use those okay <laughs> don't put me in a worse mood than i'm already in because today i'm f struggling this is what my hair is looking like now i also have a ton of layers because tiktok got the best of me and i tried to give myself a wolf cut it just didn't end up working out because i think my hair was too long oh my god your hair is so long and so luscious i'm obsessed she already sort of has a little bit of a jellyfish cut going on there's a lot of like kind of layering just Everything that a hairstylist tries to avoid, she has it. She has that stacked shelf layering going on, which really works for her. <laughs> the fact that this looks good, I mean, she's already in a good position, but let's see if she can pull it off. I am ready to get rid of these ends because right now I feel like I'm giving Samara the grudge and it ain't cute. All right, it's giving a little grudgy, but honestly, it looks... I think I want to take off like this much. My ends are dead. Because the bottom layer is so long, I think all of this is what we're gonna be bobby. All right, so I'm very spooked out by that sectioning going on. There was sort of a lack of proper sectioning happening. It was kind of just like, let me just pull up this piece and this one on this side and try to make it a little bit even. It didn't look like it was quite even, I'm gonna be honest with you. That makes me nervous because the base of a good haircut is taking even sections and we are doing none of that at all. Snip it. Hopefully I'm doing this even, Jesus. <laughs> I like that length. I think that's really good. Whoa, we are getting rid of a lot of hair. I'm f concerned because she pulled the hair to the front of her head and then cut it. When she pushes her hair in the back of her head like this, I have a lot of practice with imaginary hair because I always wanted some long hair. Anyways, when she puts her hair in the back of her head, it's gonna go like this because she's over directing that hair from the nape of her neck to the front. The front's gonna be shorter and the back's gonna be longer. I wouldn't recommend doing it like that. You should cut the back hair in the back and the front hair in the front to make it nice and uniform and even. You know, for these being new, it's still hard to cut. Oh my gosh, why is that like kind of even? Maybe I cut this one a little too high. Um, it's not quite even to me, love. I would call it somewhat almost there, but it's about an inch off from each other. So uh, let's fix it. Let's make it an even line, shall we? This was my Hime cut right here and it's grown out quite a bit. So maybe we'll just follow that. Oops, this one. It's giving Haku. Ah, why am I giving Willy Wonka? Wait a damn f mother f minute. That's crazy. You have to really trust yourself to do that. Oh my God. She just cut a bob. I mean, she had to be so sure about this cut or she doesn't give a shit about her hair. I don't know which one it is, but it seems like she cares. I've never seen anybody do this, this severely to themselves. I'm shocked. This is wild. This is looking so bad. Okay, if worse comes to worse, I'll just end up with a bob. I'm sorry, but it's not looking cute. How the f*** are you gonna wrap this all together and make it look good? What are we gonna do? I am spooked and scared and really f nervous for you. Let's match the other side. No hesitation. Why do I actually like this? This feels nice. 
nice. Dude, she's just chopping away. Just chopping away with no fear. No fear at all. It's wild. And we're going shorter. <laughs> oh. Again, though, with cutting everything in the front, when she puts that bob in the back, it's gonna be like this. It's not going to be a round, nice, beautiful jellyfish moment. It's gonna be a nice V in the back of her head. Not optimal. I hate to see it. I think I went too short. But I feel like the only thing we could do now is just make sure that it's even. Ah, it is not even at all. There's one side that's like up here, the other side's down here. <laughs> what? What are we gonna do? And every time I see her cutting, it just goes like this. It's like shorter, 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 shorter. I thought this was a jellyfish cut, not a bowl cut, babe. Stop cutting. And then fortunately, I still have all this length. Let's match it. Let's take out my other hair and see how it's looking. It is like significantly shorter than what I had before, but you know what? I am actually loving this. I think it's so different. So let's work on these bangs. Oh my God. Oh, we just keep going. Okay, so now she's going for the bangs. So just recently I gave myself baby bangs, but they grow back so fast. I think for sure we can go like a lot, lot shorter. Oh, oh Jesus, that is so so uneven. But maybe we'll just add some, oops, some choppiness. Eh. So this is what my hair looks like at the end of day one. <laughs> Oh! Okay, so she just finished the cut. I have to say the bangs are definitely not even. They definitely go, so that's not great. But overall, the cut does look dope on her. It's really coming together. And now we have the color portion to go. Okay, let's see if she can pull off the color too. Something tells me she might not be able to. I don't know. Game plan for today is some chunky red highlights at the top. So the little tails that we have going on here, I think I just want one long stripe and then a little stripe through my bangs. <laughs> God. The cut looks good. I'm excited for her color, but she has such beautiful hair. Like it is so shiny and healthy and bl the blackest, blackest hair ever. And it's just beautiful. I'm so scared she's going to completely demolish it with this bleach. But I'm also really want her to do it. I don't know, I'm torn right now. And she's doing like a very complicated color. It's gonna be all stripey everywhere. Let's see if the vision can come to life. All the hairdressers and cosmetologists are probably screaming at the screen right now i know guys i know i suck at this you know what even if i don't get like the root i'm totally okay with that i can't expect this to be perfect oh god i am screaming that lightener is not thick enough it can't be like water consistency you shouldn't be able to like literally see all your hair through the lightener it needs to be thicker so it doesn't dry out immediately she's also using foils which is good but i would definitely recommend taking smaller sections very small slices of hair and coating each of them to make sure this dark dark hair gets light enough to do anything with i don't know what her end result goal is yet but we'll see so far really scary Oh, hell no. Nah. We definitely did not get all that hair. We definitely did not color all those strands. There's gonna be pieces in there that are dark, little spots of darkness. You definitely did not get every hair. I know it. I think I already see the blonde coming through. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. And I feel like once the red's on it, you won't even be able to tell. Let's check this bottom one. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I feel like it could have been in there just a little bit longer. Okay, so she is smart. I'm gonna say it. She's not lightening her hair to the pale yellow. She's trying to go red on these stripes pieces so she is only lightening them to an orange color which is good it'll give you more longevity out of your red color if you do not lighten it to a pale yellow when you lighten your hair to pale yellow it's gonna be extremely extremely dry and porous and that red pigment is gonna fall right off plus you would like a more of an orange undertone for red colors rather than a pale yellow because the undertones of red are orange if that makes sense to you let me know if not Sorry. I didn't get the roots and it's a little patchy there, but it's okay. I wasn't expecting it to be perfect, but now the question is, do I do my eyebrows? I kind of like my dark brows with it, but I feel like once the red is on there, I'll be able to make more of a decision. Your eyebrows. We are going for it today. Holy sh**. No, look. It still looks like it has little black parts, or is it just because it's bunched up together? Did you hear that? She has little black spots. We been knew that was gonna happen. This one looks a little bit darker and more burgundy where this one just seems like more of an eccentric red. The final step, we are putting on the red color. You need super red, by the way. It would look so insanely good. My red color is like fire, you fire, you flame red. It is so sexy. It is so deep, it is so pigmented. It makes your hair so shiny. It makes your hair feel so good. <laughs> Wow, 
why does this look so dark? Oh my goodness. I hope once it washes out, it's a lot more bold and bright because I was not expecting this. Yeah, it looks really dark. Like maybe a little bit too dark that you're not gonna see it. I don't know. Four and a half hours later, and I'm finally done. I love it. I think it looks so good. I think we're just gonna do it. I wanna do at least two strips here. Forget the like chunky highlights all over. Oh, we're not done. We are going in for more <laughs> lines on the top of our head. She can't get enough, and I love it. I love how extra this is, but I'm still wondering, what is this end result gonna look like? I have no clue. Is it gonna be the worst thing I've ever seen or the best thing ever? Make sure nothing falls onto my eyes. Maybe I should do this with my eye closed. Every time I play this video, she's doing more sh The eyebrows are getting colored red too, which I love. This is a commitment. So here is the final look. I know that it's so different from what we initially started with. I don't feel pretty and I don't feel very feminine. So I do feel like this look is gonna be very short lived. And I feel like where I went wrong was I cut the first layer so damn short. I'm not sure how I feel about the eyebrows. Maybe the red wasn't the right way to go just because I feel my eyes my eyebrow and my forehead become like one single area So there's no distinction. So I feel like I need darker eyebrows. Hold on. 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 That looks incredible. Oh my god. I am obsessed with this look. The sh most shocking part is that she does not like it, which is fine. I've had colors that everybody else likes and I don't like it myself, so I get it. But let me just tell you, if you're watching this person in this video, your hair looks amazing like this. I agree with you that like I would have probably preferred the dark eyebrows, but this looks so fierce. This is such a cool color, such a cool cut. The styling of your hair is flawless. It looks like a professional did it. Wild, incredible, awesome, oh my god. Up next, we have a video by Celestini. Today, I am dyeing over my pitch black hair with purple hair dye. Okay, so we're starting off with this kind of like oil slick looking color. It has like greens and purples and yellows and blues and some spots. Like there's a lot going on, Stella. The only areas that I still have black in is kind of here. And the reason for that is that it is the only reason that is a tiny bit less porous, meaning the cuticle is closed so it can retain color more. And the reason why it looks like an oil slick is because she previously colored her hair black and it faded off into all these different colors. And now I think she's gonna go over it with another color. I don't know what's gonna happen. Today, I'm actually going to be using Brad Mondo's own hair colors in Super Purple and Berry to get the most beautiful eggplant color to cover up my color correction mess without needing to touch permanent dyes or bleach. Yes! Okay, so she's going purple, like she said, but I'm scared because this purple, which just so happens to be my hair color line, has to perform really, really, really well to cover up all the stuff going on around hair and her hair is already dark and it's semi-permanent color and you can do that but like you know sometimes I just <laughs> I just hope the color gods are on my side today and everything looks good <sighs> I love you stuff <laughs> smelling the color like that Let's add in some super blue as well. Comment below if you think this is already going to be one of the best dyes ever. Let's mix it together and see what happens. So any of you who have followed um, color theory will know that mixing red and blue will give nothing but purples. The blue did intensify it and darken it a tiny bit. However, I'm going to completely empty out my tub. Okay, she's mixing up the most magical purple ever. And it's super dark. And I'm thinking, yeah, it'll probably be enough to cover that moment on her hair and make everything even and super purple and beautiful. And I'm really excited, but I'm still nervous that I... <laughs> I want her to love it and I want me to love it. I'm gonna make my life more interesting. And I wanna take a page out of Sophie Hanna's hair currently. And I'm actually going to add in a fully black money piece to conceal these two black bits. The rest of it is going to be gorgeous purple. Oh, we're not only doing purple. We gotta add in the black money pieces now. Okay, this is getting more and more complicated and much more interesting. I don't know how it's gonna look with black money pieces and the purple in the back. I'm just like, I don't know if I'm getting the whole vision. It sounds really interesting and like it could not look great, but also could look really cool. I don't 
No one anymore, man. It's so satisfying when Stella does her hair. Those perfect little brush strokes and that super purple going on her hair looks so pigmented and bright. Oh, it just, it's going to give me life, I hope. This is how you really color your hair right with something permanent color. You take these tiny little sections and you go in and you paint that root and you do all the roots all over. And then you go on the ends and get all the ends super saturated. It's looking beautiful, very nicely done. Okay, now it's time to do the money piece, which I'm going to dye all black. We got all the super purple on and now she's going with the black color. <sighs> the scary part. Oh mama, this is such a gothic look. It is giving me serious Wednesday Adams vibe. I know that we started out with an issue of black and technically it looks now like we added in more black into our hair, but this hair is actually one of my favorite because it uses really, really beautiful uses of complementary colors, in this case, really deep purples with pitch black dye. I could not be more happy with it. I think there are such, such gorgeous colors, the two that go together, the very, very deep purple that I have all over my hair that ended up looking so absolutely beautiful. And then to tie in a bit of elements from the previous look, we went with a pitch black money piece, which I think is such a fun, fun, fun look. Oh my God, that color came out so vibrant and delicious and rich. And I love this gothic moment on you. Whoa, I am fully, absolutely living for this entire look. I am blown away at how flawless her hair looks after just that same permanent color. She did it again. And because you made it this far in the video, I'm gonna give you 20% off all Xmodo color products at xmodohair.com using code REACT20 at checkout. So shop now. Up next, we have a video by Leah the Princess. Today, I am nervous. Most of the time when I've dyed my hair like fun fashion colors like this, I'll dye all the way up to the root. So when the root starts growing in, it's usually a straighter line. But when I did the green, I I actually did a shadow root. I didn't do it properly. The real way to do a shadow root would be to bleach your whole head, add the colors you want, and then last, add a brown or a black color to the root. Oh God, there's a lot going on right now. So she's got curly hair, which automatically her hair is very dry. Her hair is green as hell in the bottom. Good luck getting that out. <laughs> and she has about five inches of black regrowth. What's the next step? How, how, what? What's our goal? Sorry, I'm trying to wrap my head around all this. There's a lot going on. The way that this color has been growing in has not really been a nice straight line. It's sort of all over the place. And so I'm a little worried about overlapping on hair that's already been processed. I'm worried about banding. I'm worried about breakage. And now I am also worried about banding and breakage. Where's the confidence? We gotta go in with confidence. We're already setting ourselves up for failure. Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on. I don't know how you're gonna pull this off and make it look good. I don't know what you're gonna do. We're going to leave, as I said, the shadow root on the top. We're gonna bleach all the mids and we are going to dye those blue because blue and yellow make green. So if the blue bleeds down into the green, it'll just make more green. And then also blue and red make purple. So as the blue grows out, and the green grows out and I start cutting the green off and we only have blue left, then I could easily put purple on top of it. Okay, loving the color theory. The color theory is on point. Absolutely loving it. Is she gonna execute this correctly? My hopes are on the floor. I'm hoping they will build up as you watch the video, but maybe not. We shall see. We've got the L'Oreal Quick Blue 30 Volume Pure White. 30 Volume in Quick Blue, I think is a great formula for her. I mean, her hair is black. Blackity black. Black. So she needs that extra mother strength on her hair. But listen, she just needs to be so sure she's not overlapping onto those already green parts because she will see breakage and it will fall off her head. Without having a professional do this and not be able to see the back of your head, that's probably gonna happen. She's probably gonna have breakage. Shit's probably gonna hit the fan. The first thing we gotta do, section. I'm also not sure what I'm gonna do with my bangs yet. I'm probably gonna leave those for last. Well, I'm bleaching them. I don't know if I'm gonna make them green or if I'm gonna make them blue. So they're not the best sections, but they're sections. 
And I think that's all that matters. Okay, we are section. All right, well, well, well. We are doing some funky sectioning. It looks to be sort of a four quadrant moment going on, but then again, it's not at all. It's kind of just like a finger parting and then we just put things in buns and then uh, we have four different sections that are very uneven and very all over the place and I don't know. Feels like we're set up for failure. I'd rather have banding than have brown spots. We're not doing the roots. Not now, not ever. So that's like a good distance from the root, I think. My question is why not the roots? Why not now? Why not ever? Why, why not? I'm not getting the whole leaving the root out thing because then you just have to color your hair more often. You know, we are painting with our hands. Fine, I'll take it. It's just really scary when she has that green part that meets up with the bleach. Everything's gonna be mushed together and then breakage. <sighs> I feel like Nate Archibald. Nate Archibald, I don't know what his name is. Nate Archibald from Gossip Girl today. Flatter me for a second and tell me I look like him. The way that we're working from the front of our head to the back doesn't make any sense to me. It never will, it never has, and it never does. But I'll take it. I'm also glad that she's taking sections vertically. If she takes them vertically and she paints them like this, there's going to be a more smooth transition from the dark to the light. I'm also not trying to go to the roots, but I feel like I am going to the roots. But at least this is the underground section. So if it gets messed up, we can hide it. I don't know if it's just the hairstylist in me or what, but if there is even one piece of hair fucked up in my head, even if it's in the back of my head underneath the rest of the hair, I will all day think of that one piece of hair that looks terrible. Is that an OCD thing or is it a hairstylist thing? Let me know. Okay. Wow, it's like already developing. Did we see that? There's overlapping going on. Damn it. Oh my God, that's like to the root. What are we doing? All right, we made it to the top of the head and we're completely changing the technique now. We're doing horizontal sections and we're painting them horizontally, which is not recommended because that is how you're gonna get, end up getting like a line of demarcation where the dark meets the light. Section it like this across the head and pull it up and then paint and then lay it back, all right? That way we get a sort of blurred line when our hair falls down in this direction. If you over direct the hair in the opposite direction it grows, that line of demarcation is going to be sort of, um, Dilute, diluted. That line of demarcation is going to be sort of, uh, what the fuck is the word? That line of demarcation is gonna be sort of dissolved, uh, less noticeable. <laughs> Let's go with that one. Oh, it's gonna be so spotty. <laughs> Sections are getting bigger, the technique, less technique -y. I just like feel like there's pieces in here I fully missed, but. I also feel as though there are pieces in there that you definitely missed, so. <laughs> okay, that's hella blonde. I think, uh, I think we're looking Gucci. I am a little worried that the roots are gonna be spotted. Okay, it's looking, it's looking crazy. It's looking crazy. Let's see what happens though. Yeah, I mean, the roots are gonna look crazy, but it doesn't look like I missed too much. It looks like I missed singular hairs here and there. Oh, it's so warm. Yeah, this side is better. Oh, thank God. We didn't miss too much. We just missed enough. I'm back and it looks crazy. For me, this is always the yikes phase. Yikes. For sure it's yellow. And you put blue over yellow and it makes green. So I thought you wanted blue, not green. <laughs> So yeah, we're only doing those two spots just here because that's gonna be visible and then here because it was pretty far down. The rest of the root we're not gonna deal with because we're gonna do a shadow root. Okay, it literally did nothing and I don't know why. Okay, what you just saw was her trying to fix a couple of spots that were dark. And it didn't really do anything because we did not leave the light around long enough. Uh, you know, at least we tried, A for effort, yeah. Okay. So the plan now is to just go, maybe not halfway down, maybe like here-ish. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, that's pretty. So she is going in with that blue and it's looking deep and delicious. Everything I want and I can't wait to see if this covers up all that yellow. I hope it does. I'm sure it will, but I don't know. I'm not convinced that this blue is gonna turn out blue enough. I am going to also say the same thing. It just looks really light. That is going to turn green. Maybe a more blue green, but when that fades out, it's going to be pure 
green. I don't want that for you because you don't want green. You want less green, not more of it. If you put super blue over your entire hair, even on top of the green parts, it would be so beautiful. And we're just gonna only touch the ends of our hair now. I think this will be fun with the bangs just being green. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna let this ruminate. But it is giving me like a mermaid seaweed fantasy right now. At least there's something happening that's fun. It's the next day. We're gonna fix it. I'm not terribly concerned with it. I've identified the mistakes. And I will say like I am enjoying the color. I think it's fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you. The whole goal is to stop doing the green and you ended up with a full head of green. That is some bull Okay, we're now doing a shadow root, which I think is a good idea. I would like a more unison looking grown out root because some spots up really high, some spots really low. A good shadow root is always done after the bleaching. This makes sense. JK, it's not reveal time yet. I put more color in my hair. The back of my hair, like the bottom layer, is still just the turquoise and the green, but the top here, we thought we'd go a little more blue. Also on the bang section, I did end up re-bleaching it before I put this blue color on. So I think the front, will be the bluest. Reason for that is there were a few places where the root color bled into the bangs. Okay, so we did the shadow root. She didn't like it. We are now, we bleached the bangs again. <laughs> Holy and then we put more blue on. Let's hope it's good now. I mean, this blue just completely covered up all the green, most of the turquoise. The front is definitely the bluest part, but that's where I bleached the green out. Looking back at the videos and the pictures of what the color looked like after the shadow root, I have to say I didn't hate the color. It wasn't the worst thing in the world that I had seen, but it wasn't really what I was going for. Again, I was going for a blue to green ombre to hopefully as the roots grow in and I bleach it more, I can start transitioning to purple. And I pretty much achieved that. You know, it's more of a blue on top, green on bottom kind of situation. I'm vibing with it. I think as long as the green is here, it won't feel like it's clashing with the black. It'll just feel like, you know, two pops of neon colors. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> we ended up with blue basically all over the head, which I do really like, but it just could have been done so much easier. The path we took to get here was treacherous and scary. And next time I just want you to put some super blue over your hair. I'm gonna send super blue to you so that you can keep up with this look and not have any issues next time going over yellow with blue. Like it was super blue, it will not create green. It will look amazing. That was a roller coaster of a ride. I was like on that roller coaster like, I was scared for my life, but we got there. I actually feel worse. <laughs> that was crazy. Everybody just, wow, chill, chill with the color or don't. Just keep on having fun. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.